Zo, Harry Aarts, Rotorua, Nieuw-Zeeland, Waterbed, Egg Incubator. I have done a fair bit of test and improvements. So this is my final product. So you can copy it if you want it. So there we go. The box size has not changed a lot. So it is 400 millimeters, 300 millimeters, and 150 millimeters high. All made from 12 millimeter plywood untreated. So I all glued it together. I had not any nails in it, so I like that way. <coughs> so the inside here is exactly square. The ridge here is 150 mi uh, 50 millimeter high, and here they have a slope, you see, and have nice sanded and nice and smooth. This is done with a slope later on the back stays away from this hole then the air can go in and out so what is left over here there's somewhere uh, 18 90 millimeter i think it is somewhere that for my gear to go in uh, inside the box here i have a little bit of felt in it that uh, um, saving the bag, you see, but when you have this one, this goes in the bag and goes in there, so the bag is here and there, it will be not damaged, otherwise you would have two hard surfaces, the glass would be alright, but you never know, something lays there, could, could damage the bag. Okay, <coughs> those six holes are 25 millimeters, all in the corners, in the four corners, uh, 10 millimeters from the side and from the bottom. Another hole here I made, it's not important that hole anyway, how big, so I made it 18 millimeters. So I put this, this one in, I don't know, it's from the freezer or something, something like that, I find it somewhere. So I can put it in here and put my thermometer in. I like those thermometers, it's a mercury ones that takes the heat nicely, quickly and transfers a lot better than those alcohol or what, what kind of stuff. But they are not in fashion anymore, but you will find them somewhere. Alright, that one. So, <coughs> here also I have a cut out for my aluminium bar. You see this. The bag goes here, and this goes on top, and also will hold in my wires. On the end here, and here, I make a little bit more room. The plastic bag is very wide, so I can push that in those ends. There's a little bit more room to get rid of the bag. So that, that one, uh, this is the top one, comes later on here, you will see it, the little bit of handle on it, and also used for the hang up the bag. <coughs> on this side is my uh, electronic gear, here is my unit, a pump. That's six, mil, uh, six watts, you can buy them, uh, I have seen them d down to two and a half watts I think. So it, it's just a small motor, aquarium motor, also an aquarium heater and regulator, but I don't use the regulator, it's not accurate enough. Anyway, for me. So I bypass that one and here is my feeler, and you see can perhaps see the sensor here, perhaps not, but it is there. So the, all is glued on, the piece of glass, keep it a little bit free, that the water can just nice around this one and right around everywhere. 
the bottom plate there, you had to take all the sharp edges off and the corners off. You do it by a sandstone or a wetting stone, you know, for your tools. You can grind them all nicely off, so that is no damage in the bed. Uh, have a look here, I got that all here. So, I painted the, the box um, gloss acrylic enamel water based, two undercoats, and two finishing coats. So that's what the box is called. Oh, here I have a center line here, you see. It's good to have that one. And I think that's what the box concerned and that one. So now we go to the plastic bag. The plastic bag is 900 by 500. 900 by 500 and um, yeah you will see it on the roll anyway there you can buy them uh, packing places I think I did it uh, so because I'm after a while I was sick and tired of it all the time it's 10 20 bags uh, so I think oh have a roll and that will do my life <laughs> I'm sure but that's what it is so the bag here is the center line on, those two lines, that's the inside of the box. Here I have all those lines, you see the measurements, this one is 30 millimeters, 150 millimeters, 85 millimeters. So all the lines on, if you have done it, okay. Oh, first of all you cut off the bottom from the bag, you have just a sleeve not more than a sleeve, cut it on off. So when you have done this one, you turn them over and do the same. You know, with those felt stiffs. So that's the bag. So we will see on the next video, I will show you how I put it in. In the beginning I was a little bit farting around and didn't go well, but I worked my way out how it goes nicely. All right, so I stopped now for a while. You have seen it here. If you want one, you come and pick one. <laughs> you can come pick one up.